Here, in Kielder, England, the lynx once roamed the forest. It was prevalent from the northernmost tip of Scotland to the southern coast of England. Relentless hunting by medieval Britons doomed the species, but the Eurasian lynx could be roaming this land once again within months, thanks to Paul Donahue and the Lynx UK Trust. There's three main reasons lynx belong here. We killed every single last lynx. That's unacceptable. It's a, it's a disgrace. We have a moral obligation to bring these animals back to where they rightfully belong. The second reason is our forests are dying. We're, we're overrun with deer. Um, regeneration has virtually stopped and we need lynx to kickstart that ecosystem, to recharge that ecosystem. And the third reason is the place where we are is a rurally deprived area. There's very few jobs for people, very few jobs for young people, and businesses are failing. Lynx can fix that. If Donahue's proposal succeeds, four female and two male lynx would be rounded up in Sweden and flown to Britain. Within years, the population could grow naturally. Supporters include local business owners who hope the lynx will boost tourism. But farmers see the lynx as a predator that will devour the animal that sustains much of the local economy, sheep. I'm very concerned about it because uh, to the point of the animal welfare, uh, which is going to cause a lot of distress to uh, uh, the sheep, lambs, calves. Uh, I definitely feel that the lynx will actually take the easy option and go for the, the sheep and, uh, and lambs rather than going for the deer population.